Hello, my name is Rashmi Shankar and I'm a fifth grader at Montgomery Elementary. Today I'll present the speech, Ain't I a Woman by Sojourner Truth. Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the woman of the North, all talking about rights, the white man will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Well, nobody ever helps me into carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me, look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could ever head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have born 13 children, seen most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out in my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's that they call it? Intellect. That's it. That's right, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint, and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man in black there, he says that women can't have as much rights as men, because Christ wasn't a woman. Well, where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn this world upside down all alone, then these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. Now they are asking to do it. The men better let them. Obliged to you for hearing me, and now old sojourner ain't got nothing more to say. Thank you.